the door into our bedroom starts to open. I instantly react. I roll off the bed onto the floor and, and reach up into the nightstand and, and pull out my sidearm that's, that's stored there. The individual reacts and I, I've got my gun. I load one in the chamber and, and start to move towards him. He comes out the doorway. He goes out this door. Tries to go over the uh, tries to go over the stucco wall. Um, he catches himself on the bag that he's already put over the side that he's been going through the house, rummaging, taking things, and loading him into the bag. I'm pursuing him around the corner. I'm hiding behind that a little bit, just you know, and protecting from here down. And I've got my gun pointed at him at that point, and tell him to don't move. He starts, he starts to get up more than once, and I explained to him at that point, I said, this is, a, you know, I asked him if he knows what I have pointed at him, and he does, and I tell him, it's, it's a nine millimeter. You know what that's going to do with high velocity hollow points in it? And I explain, I, I explain to him in graphic detail what it'll do, and I tell him to get back down. He tries to get up again, and a little louder with him that time, and then he goes down on the ground at that point, hands down, head down which is where he basically stays um, until the police come. Well, I'm rolling out of bed, getting my gun, chasing after this guy, and standing behind that, that pillar of, of stone when five police cars and seven police officers roll up onto the scene completely naked. Well, I was pretty aware of it right away. <laughs> it's like, this is cold. <laughs> oh well, I'm staying here.